Hey guys, Mr. Mew Man back here again today. Uh, and today's video is going to be a follow up to all the master sets that I have reviewed that have come out dur during the Sword and Sh Shield era. So, Sword and Shield, Rebel Clash, um, Darkness Blade, Vivid Voltage. Um, I mean, Champion's Path is in there as well, but there won't be any cards from um, there in this video. So, basically, what I'm going to do is I'm going to look at all the exclusive cards um, that I list out and where we can get those cards from. So, what, what product Pokemon has released that we can get those from. Um, so the reason I'm doing this is to kind of give a recap of everything that was released last year and kind of to show um, So in some of those videos, you'll notice that some of the cards down in the description are not listed in the video And that's because they came out after I created the video So I'm gonna go through everything that I have here and a couple notes here is I'm not including any cards that are like league promos And those are usually the reverse hollow and they have like the league stamp on them or I'm not including any of the other stamped cards so if it says thank you I think there's a Hydreigon like that, um, and some of the other Vs might have a stamp because it's essentially the same thing, just a stamp difference. These are differences because they're either hollows when they're normally not, or they're non-hollows when they usually are. So uh, with that being said, I do have all these cards listed down into the in the description below and where you can get them. Um, so as we're going through, you can kind of follow along. Um, and then of course, if you do want to end up collecting these to add to your sets, feel free to do so. Um, and last thing before we get started, I want to thank everyone for liking and subscribing to our channel. So if you haven't done that yet, so go ahead and do that just to kind of stay up to date with all our content that we have. We have a lot planned for this year, uh, especially with Shining Fates and uh, Battle Styles releasing here in a couple months. So with that being said, I'm going to start out with the cards in the Sword and Shield base set. Uh, so I'm going to start out first with what I have here is a Sobble, Grookey, and Score Bunny. So let's see here. So Sobble, Grookey, and Score Bunny put these in order. These are normally commons in the set. Let's see here. But these are a special common because they have a, they're a hollow, but they're not just a normal hollow, they are a cosmos hollow. So let me see if I can just hold up the Grookey if it will focus. So I don't know if you can see that, but it does, yeah, you can see like the little circles. So that means the cosmos hollow. So these, um, you can go ahead and get these if you're looking for them in the spring 2020 collector's chest. So it does come with all three. Um, I would think you might be able to still find those um, as they were just in the spring. But that is where you get those three. And I do have three more Grookey, Sobble, and Score Bunny. So let's set these down here. And you can notice from these ones, they're the same. Uh, they're, a, they're the other Grookey, Score Bunny, and Sobble from the base set. These ones have a hollow pattern. This is the line hollow. So this is what the normal hollows look like for the hollow rares. But you can see there it is a common and these all come from like the Galar collection so usually you can get those and then you can get either a Grookey score bunny or a Sobble promo um, so just with those six right there that's already six additional exclusive cards I am adding into the master set from there I do have a Rillaboom, Inteleon, and Cinderace and these are all shattered hollows so you can kind of see the shattered background these are normally rares in the set so these, of course, are all the theme deck exclusives. If you're looking for these, they come in the theme decks uh, for the base set. And then the other Inteleon, Rillaboom, and Cinderace that I have, I have the same Cosmos uh, pattern as the Grookey, Score Bunny, and Sobble I showed you earlier. And these come from the 2020 Fall Collector's Chest. So if you do get the, that Collector's Chest, you do get all three of those. So from there, I'm going to move on to... Cards that um, are also included in either build and battle kits or other theme decks. So I've got five of them here. So a non hollow Rillaboom, which is normally a hollow in the set, which is from either the build, one of the build and battle kits. Same thing with Inteleon, non hollow from a build and battle kit. Galarian Obstagoon, non hollow from a build and battle kit. And then we have Marnie and Professor's Research. And these are included in several theme decks. I think the Marnie is not included in as many as Professor's Research, but mainly all the all the theme decks you basically get is at least going to have some Professor's Research in it. The Marnie, I think, is more of the League battle kits. Um, I think like the Zashin V, you should get get some in there. Um, but those are pretty easy to find. Uh, from there, I'm going to move on to that Zashin V. A league battle deck that I mentioned and a non hollow Galarian Berserker and a non hollow Orangaroo. So both of these do come in that Zashin V battle kit. I'll put these up here. 
And the very last card that I have here might be the hardest one to find, a non-hollow copperage. So this was a GameStop exclusive. Um, so this is, normally this is a hollow in the set, but if you spent like $15 at GameStop a couple months ago, you would get a non-hollow copperage. So altogether, I'm looking here at 20 different cards just from the Sword and Shield base set. Um, so it, it does add a lot, a lot of additional cards to the master set. Again, if you're not looking to collect these, you know you don't have to to have, you know the official master set from Sword and Shield base set. Uh, but I do like to include these in just because you know they are other hollows or non-hollows that normally are not included. So let me move these off to the side here, and I will move on to what is available in Rebel Clash. So, all right. So Rebel Clash does not have as many, so I'm going to start here with the non-hollow Grimstar and the non-hollow Luxray. These are in build and battle kits, um, so if you get a build and battle kit, you have a chance to get one of these. The Luxray, I think Luxray is actually a promo. Um, don't remember the, I think Tox... Um, Garboder is the promo that came with the Grim Snarl. But those are both non hollows, normally hollows in the set. Um, you can find them. They should be relatively cheap if you're just looking to buy the singles. Um, that or you get the build and battle kit. From there, we're going to move on to uh, theme decks. And of course, we have our Zacian and our Zamazenta from the theme deck. So these are shattered hollows. So they both have that shattered, that shattered pattern to them. So one, two. These are from, of course, Zashi and Zamazenta uh, theme deck. And then to go along with that, we have a non-hollow Duraludon, which I believe was in the uh, Zamazenta one. So normally a hollow, but in this set it is a non-hollow. So after Rebel Clash was released, there were two additional cards. So this is a non-hollow boss's order, and you can get this in the trainer's toolkit. Uh, I do believe the Zashi and V-deck may also have a copy of that. And then the last card here is a non-hollow stone journer. So this was kind of an interesting one. So normally a hollow in the set, but you can actually get this in the Galarian Surfetched theme deck that came out with Darkness Ablaze. So this card didn't even come out until Darkness Ablaze was released. So that just kind of shows how cards can be released um, after the set has already been released. So it was a couple months after when we got that. So a total of seven here. Um, so not as many as the Sword and Shield base. From there, I'm gonna move on to Darkness Ablaze. So Darkness Ablaze, if I'm looking at theme decks, you have a non-hollow Suicune. And then we have our two theme decks, which are going to be Galarian Darmanitan and Galarian Surfetched, our Shattered Hollows, as you can see there. And then from there, we also have um, a Kangaskhan, which can be found in the Galarian Darmanitan. This is a non-hollow, and it also can be found in the Build and Battle Kits. Um, and then the other two cards that I have here are also from build and battle kits, non-hollow Tapu Koko, and the non-hollow Darkrai. So it's said, not as many in um, in Darkness of Blaze as well. You know, this is six of them here. Um, most they're either theme decks or build and battle exclusives. Nothing um, out of the ordinary with this one. So as that may some may be added later on, um, and if they are, I will add those down in the description and just make a note that they're not in the video. The last three that I have are from Vivid Voltage, and Vivid Voltage uh, is that only three. So we have the Shattered Hollow of Charizard and Dreadnought from the theme decks, and the non-hollow Leon. So all in all, I have a total of, uh, what did I say here, 37 cards or 36 cards that you can possibly get to add in here. Yeah, so I think 36, um, if you're including everything here from, from this block. Um, is that I do like to, to add these in, and I'll just kind of spread these out here just so we can kind of see them all here at the end, how many I am including. As I said, you don't have to add these in if you don't want. Um, I do like to add them. One thing I do notice, though, is some of the product does get harder to find. I think, like, the collector's chest may eventually get harder to find if you try collecting this later on. Um, and, you know, that Copperage, that was that GameStop exclusive, uh, is difficult probably is difficult to find now because they don't have that promotion going on anymore. But yeah, so this is everything here. Um, I, I wanted to make this video just to kind of recap everything since a lot of these were left out of the master set videos that I do have. Um, but then again, if you want to go look at where you can get all these, I put them down in the description, um, exactly where you can find them or what product you can use to find those. And uh, yeah, the, the full list for you, you want, you want, you can find right down there below. Um, 
that concludes it for this video. I want to thank everyone for joining. Um, it was a lot of fun collecting all these master sets this year, or I guess last year. And we are looking forward to collecting all six of them that will come out this year. Uh, but if you guys can, give us a like and a subscribe. And we will see you guys next time.